The task force will be chaired by the Honourable Anne McClellan, who I'm pleased is here today. And the members of the task force, uh, many of whom were recommended by provincial and territorial governments, uh, are as follows. The vice chair is Mark Ware, uh, Catherine Zahn, Perry Kendall, Marlene Gesso, Raf Sucker, Susan Boyd, Barbara Von Tigerstrom, and George Chow. These uh, incredible, uh, this incredible group of experts bring a wealth of, uh, of expertise and, and background to the task force, and we look forward to their advice on this subject. And under Ms. McClellan's leadership, the task force will engage with provincial, territorial, and municipal governments, Indigenous peoples, youth, and experts in a wide range of fields to seek their views. The task force will use what it has heard to advise the government on the design of the legislation and the regulatory framework that will include a new system of strict marijuana sales and distribution. Mr. Blair and Ms. McClellan will explain more about the task force shortly. As I said, this is a first step in the process that will result in new legislation. Our legislation will be informed by the views of Canadians, our provincial and territorial partners, experts in public health and law enforcement. It will rebalance legal treatment of marijuana to keep pace with the changes in our society while protecting public health and safety. It is important for Canadians to remember, however, that while this process unfolds, the current criminal laws on marijuana remain in force. Production and possession of marijuana are illegal unless it has been authorized for medical purposes. The Government of Canada supports efforts by federal, provincial and municipal law enforcement to enforce these laws. I look forward to hearing the results of these consultations and thank the Chair and the members for agreeing to participate in this extremely important part of this process. Thank you and I will turn it over to Minister Philpott. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I'm very happy to be here with my colleagues to launch the task force on marijuana legalization and regulation. Il ne s'agit pas d'une question facile. La marijuana est une drogue que de nombreuses personnes utilisent actuellement à des fins médicales, mais elle est également à des fins, uh, utilisée à des fins récréatives par de nombreux For recreational purposes by many Canadians. In fact, marijuana use in Canada is the highest as compared to practically anywhere else in the world. And as this is an illegal market, organized crime is reaping the profits. Without health and safety risks, especially among children and youth, marijuana use has negative effects on young brains and brain development during adolescence lays the foundation for success in life or alternatively for the struggles that may lie ahead. In fact, adolescents in Canada use marijuana more than any other illicit drug. They also have among the highest rates of marijuana use compared to other developed countries. We believe that governments have an important role to play in helping to reduce the impact and harm of drug use on people and communities. That is why, in Canada, we are taking a public health approach to marijuana. C'est pourquoi, au Canada, notre approche, approche pour la marijuana est That's why, in Canada, we are taking a public health approach to marijuana. We are asking the task force to, to review possible approaches and tools that would allow us to effectively limit the sale and distribution of marijuana to minors while cutting out organized crime. We also look forward to feedback from Canadians, and Canadians will have the opportunity to comment on a discussion paper which is going to be posted online today. It's a comprehensive uh, discussion paper that addresses all of the issues uh, for which we are seeking advice. And we will hear uh, from these consultations over the coming months. They will support the drafting of the new legislation that will be both comprehensive and evidence-based. We, we support drug policies that are based on solid scientific evidence and that take into account public health in order to inform, raise awareness amongst and protect Canadians. 
to Michel Picard, who is the uh, uh, Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Madam Minister. Bonjour, bienvenue. Good morning. Welcome. Today, our government is launching consultations to move towards legal, the legalization and regulation of marijuana. We must study certain key concerns, including health concerns linked to marijuana consumption by our youth. Furthermore, it is worrisome to realize that young Canadians are twice as likely to drive after having consumed marijuana than after having consumed alcohol. We are committed to ensuring that people who drive under the effect of drugs, including marijuana, are subject to more rigorous legislation. We are also interested in the illicit mar marijuana market in Canada, whose value is uh, estimated at billions of dollars. Organized crime is playing a considerable role in this illicit market. We must take measures to ensure that it's less profitable for the producers of illicit, illicit drugs and traffickers to remain in the marijuana trade. The task force will bring the best for the best expertise to review the way that this process can take place. Of course, that will take time to review these questions properly and determine the best way to move forward. In the meantime, our message is clear. The law is the law. It's important to understand that decriminalization does not meet any of our goals, which are, first of all, to keep marijuana outside of the hands of young people and also removing profits from organized crime. The legislation will remain in force until we implement the current legislation or amend the current regulations, and until then, will have to be observed. Enforcement authorities will continue to deal with illegal marijuana sales and uphold the, the law. Sorry. It also means that for those Canadians who need marijuana for medical reasons, they will continue to access it through the legal system that Health Canada has in place. It means also that commercial sellers of marijuana who are not licensed under the current law are illegal. These storefronts sell untested products that may be unsafe and of particular risk to kids, and they are supplied by illegal growers. Ladies and gentlemen, as we move forward, keep in mind that the law is the law until a new regulation system is in place. Our government's effort to legalize and regulate marijuana will help keep it out of the hands of children, prevent drug-impaired driving, and stop criminals from profiting from it. Public safety will always be a top priority. Thank you. Maintenant, j'invite le secrétaire parlementaire à la justice, M. Bill Blair. Michel. And now I invite Bill, Mr. Bill Bonjour, Blair uh, to tous. Good morning, speak. everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm very pleased to be here to join you today in this Im the important announcement of, of a critical step in the development of a new regulatory framework for the legalization, regulation, and, and control of mar marijuana in Canada. And as Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General of Canada, I have been given the task of serving as liaison between the Ministers of Justice, Health, Public Safety, and our task force. This task force will be comprised of nine members, including our chair, the Honourable Anne McClellan. Anne McClellan brings a wealth of relevant knowledge and experience to this role. At different times, she has been the Minister of Public Safety, our Minister of Health, the Minister of Justice, and the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. She is a member of the Order of Canada and Chancellor of the Dalhousie University. Our Vice Chair, Dr. Mark Ware, brings another extraordinary set of skills and a lens to the work of the task force. He is the executive director, scientific director of the Canadian Consortium for the Investigation of Cannabinoids, and he has chaired the International Association for Cannabinoid Medicines. He is an associate professor at McGill University. All of our task force members have been selected in consultation with the provinces and territories, and they are recognized for their experience and their skill in the fields of public health, problematic substance use, justice, and public safety. We have asked the task force to consult with stakeholders as well as individual Canadians through online consultations in a wide variety of areas including minimizing the harms of using marijuana, ensuring safe and responsible production and packaging, maintaining strict control of access and distribution, maintaining public safety and protection, and providing continued access to medical marijuana. We've asked the task force to do this work and to present a final report to the ministers in November of 2016. This final report will be made public. 
I am very proud to be part of this historic, open and transparent engagement process, and I am confident the